common bird care mistakes. Are you interested in adopting a bird? While pets have had a popularity rise in recent years, there hasn't necessarily been an increase in the knowledge of how to take proper care of them. Pet birds are no exception. Many first-time bird owners aren't ready for just how time-consuming and expensive their proper care can be, along with the destruction, screaming and heartbreak that inevitably results with long-term improper care. That's not to say that these owners aren't trying their best. There is a lot of misinformation concerning pet birds out there and it can be hard to know the best thing to do, guarantee your pet's health and happiness. Here's a few common mistakes to avoid making, whether you are an experienced bird owner or you are looking to get your first. Poor nutrition. It's common to see people feed their pet parrots a diet of seed and pellets, or only seed. Pet stores often market these as complete diets for birds, and it can be easy to believe that nutritionally, birds require little. However, in the wild, most birds we have as pets would live off of mainly vegetation, not seeds. Even for birds that would eat mostly seeds or nuts in the wild, such as budgies, cockatiels or macaws, the seeds we offer them in captivity are not the same as the ones they would forage for naturally, and they also do not expend the same amount of energy looking for those seeds, leading to an intake of too many calories. Palleted diets are, at face value, better than seeds, but still do not complete a parrot's diet. Parrots need a large part of their diet to be vegetables and fruit. Feeding only pelleted diets or seeds or a mix of the two can lead to obesity and vitamin deficiencies. This doesn't mean cut out pellets or seeds entirely. In fact, for most birds, pelleted diets should make up 50 to 60 percent of their diet. Seeds should be a much smaller part and are sometimes only offered as treats, not as diet staple. Check to make sure any veggies or fruit you offer are bird safe, clean and fresh. Try to offer a variety of textures besides the nutritional aspects. A great thing about fruits and vegetables in a parrot's diet is the stimulation they get from different textures of foods. improper or lack of purchase. Did you know that birds use purchase for socializing, grooming, sleeping, eating and watching their humans? A single perch really isn't enough for your feathered body. A common sight in a parrot cage is a single smooth wooden dovel for them to stand on. This isn't appropriate for any bird. Parrots need a variety of textures to stand on, not only for their mental health, but their physical health. Smooth, untextured wooden dovels can lead to health conditions like bumble food or other food disorders. It's best to have around at least three to four different perches in a parrot's cage with a different texture for each, if possible. Small cages. The minimum size requirements will depend on what type of bird you have. Many bird cages commonly available in pet stores are just far too small for the birds they are meant to contain. Birds need room to fly, climb and play inside the cage, regardless of how much time outside of the cage you give them. It's a common belief that smaller birds are fine in very small cages. This is not true. While they don't necessarily require the same cage size as Mako does, they should not be subjected to a cramped cage either. Make sure your bird has room for all its toys and perches without being cramped, while still having room to fly within the cage unhindered. Dirty cages 
Birds eat with their feet. This means that when they are done eating, they will be tracking remnants of food around their cage. It will sit and harbor bacteria, which your bird will walk through again on its way to pick up more food or to get to its toys. The amount of harm this does to your bird depends on how often you wipe down the bars of the cage. Toys. It's surprising the amount of toys even the smallest birds require. Many people give their parrots two or three toys and think they will be satisfied. Parrots need many different ways to play within the cage, even if owners are with the bird for much of the day. It's important to give a bird different toys such as hanging toys, food toys and foraging toys. Try to give them a variety so they can perform different activities, swinging, tossing, shredding. Bird toys don't always have to be expensive. Many shredding toys don't require much more than some bird safe paper. It's important to switch toys out to keep birds interested, though a favorite toy remains a cage staple. Use of air pollutants. Parrots have an incredibly sensitive and efficient respiratory system. Their system is designed in a way that when they take a breath, a second breath is necessary to push the first one to complete the cycle. A third breath pushes the second through the completion. When you think about this, since two inhalations are necessary to equal one of ours, it means that if there are toxins in the air, birds are more affected. It is very important that we pay attention to the air quality in our homes. We should never smoke around our birds or use incense, aerosol sprays or scented candles. Pick your cookware carefully. Anything with a non-stick coating can kill a bird within minutes. Household hazards. Our winged poles are very fragile and can be hurt by things that wouldn't necessarily endanger other pets. Some common household hazards that can endanger birds include mirrors and windows, fans, open water such as full sinks or open toilets, other pets and small objects. Some birds can also get sick by breathing fumes, such as those from cooking, cleaning agents, perfume, smoke and scented candles. Bigger means better. It's a common belief that only large birds like macos, African greys and cockatoos are capable of conversation, intelligence or meaningful interactions. This just isn't true. Many smaller bird species can learn to talk and whistle, and many common little budgies may actually be more talkative than larger birds, just quieter. Larger bird species are also louder, more destructive, and can cause a lot more damage with their bites. Do your research on the species you want, and don't take on more than you can handle. Messes. It's easy to think that messes from your bird will be contained inside the bird cage. Don't be fooled. It's almost guaranteed that feathers, food, and poop will be all over the room your bird is in and any rooms they frequent. It's not impossible to manage, but don't assume your bird will be a mess free pet. If you're unsure if you can handle the responsibility of a bird, don't get one. While they are destructive, loud, messy and demanding, they are also highly intelligent, loving, playful and rewarding to keep. As long as you keep up to date on what your bird requires, they can live a long and rewarding life with you. Wet Wizards Why take a healthy bird to the wet? Birds are great at hiding illnesses and should go to the wet at least once a year for a checkup to make sure they are in good health. 
Make sure to go to an avian vet who will specialize in care for your bird. If your bird exhibits strange behaviors, looks unwell, or otherwise seems out of the norm, be sure to get them checked out by your vet as soon as possible.